Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Tom Plays. I feel like it's been a while since we've done one of these, uh, but we did actually have one last week. It wasn't the traditional type of Tom Plays, it was a Tom and Mike Plays. Uh, do let us know if you enjoyed that, that was uh, for Bomb Slingers for the Switch, which was a really fun game and uh, it was great to do a multiplayer game for a change. So, oh yeah. We're playing Bubsy. This is Bubsy Woolies Strike on? Back. Which I actually have played before. I got this on the PlayStation Store in a sale recently. And uh, it's not bad, actually. Uh, I didn't think it was going to be terrible. Uh, people may have you believe that all Bubsy games are terrible. Uh, not the case. Uh, the original Bubsy on the Mega Drive is actually quite alright, as I mentioned um, on the Tom Matt Attack podcast. It's not a game I ever played growing up, but coming to it much later on, I guess some of the platforming's pr probably a bit uh, floaty for some people's liking, but uh, this is really easy to play. But it's not without ch challenge. It's actually quite a difficult game. It's not a, a walk in the park. But that's alright because a lot of older 2D platforms were a little bit tricky. So you've got a pounce move there, which most of the time feels useless because you tend to jump over them, right? Only if you're right up close to them does that actually help. Oh, there you go. It worked then. And he did say Cotton Gobbling Monster there, in case you're wondering. Now, I'm not picking up all these um, woolly balls, but uh, I'm going to try and get as many as possible. I think there's a few down here I missed. So yeah, how I understand the storyline is these aliens uh, somehow have a strange interest in balls of wool and have stolen them and because Bubsy's a bobcat, he doesn't like them stealing all the wool. He likes playing with it. I guess that's it. So, so far, so good. There's nothing really that irritates me about this game. Uh, actually quite a fun platformer in the traditional sense of platformer. Oh, there we go. You can give yourself a little bit extra height if you press triangle to slip into glide mode. Try and do it again then. Oh no. Those balls. I'm not sure what bonuses the balls give you. Probably um, if you get enough, you get an extra life. It's just a nice little challenge to set yourself. That is a checkpoint, as you probably worked out. These ones I don't know how to get, so we're going to leave them. Because I tried that last time and it didn't go very well. Oh, and yeah, okay, one hit kills is a little harsh. But I think that's always how it's been in Bubsy, to my knowledge. Frequent uh, checkpoints are good. Yeah, try and use that glide a bit better. So it works as both a, a glide and a double jump, which is quite a nice oh, mechanic if you can do it. There you go. That's like a, I am so shiny. gives you more power. Yes, and some of Bubsy's one-liners could be annoying to some people. I mean, uh, you can turn them down. It's on 50%. Uh, he's 50% chatty at the moment. I could have turned that down, but uh, it gives him some personality. 
graphics are nice, you know, nothing that couldn't have been done on the uh, last generation of consoles, but ho-hum. This doesn't need to look like a million dollars, as they would say. It looks pretty good, I think. So, uh, yeah, in part I'm making this video just to prove that this game isn't actually that bad. Uh, others would have you believe this is absolute crap, but it, it's not. <laughs> it's quite a bit of fun, actually. There's someone who never really hated bugs in the first place. Maybe I'm not the best uh, to make judgment of that. I quite like Bubsy. I don't like Bubsy 2 though. That wasn't very good. Uh, that was confusing. It needed to be a bit more straightforward. I've never played Bubsy 3D and I've heard that's bad. Genuinely bad. Not like this. This is good. <laughs> He's got an extra um, chance then. And then the other one is on the... Oh no! I've done that. On the Jaguar. And I've seen some gameplay footage of that. It doesn't look like the greatest. It wasn't like the worst either. Bass Processor Mike actually has a copy of that Bubsy Jaguar game. Um, which I got him for Christmas. So I've got another key there. I've got over half of the woolly balls so far. Isn't bad, I don't think. I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna use the glide. Oh, I've got the balls. Oh no! Oh. There we go. That's what I should have done. So I've got four of the five keys I need. Oh no, that's not good. L luckily you get given quite a lot of lives at the beginning, so you can afford to make a couple of uh, mistakes. That, that's a bit hard. I think you have to pounce and then glide to get past that bit. Let's try it again. Oh, we don't get a lot of time to glide. That, that's not, not, not that good, is it? Try it again. Okay, so that that's not so good. <laughs> well, so is it that good that I've spent nearly eight minutes <laughs> on <laughs> this first level? Well, I've got some furry balls, Claire. I've not got all of them. Oh, I'm having more problems just getting over that gap at the minute. What am I doing wrong there? That's frustrating. This happened to me last time I played this uh, first level. Oh, you meant the keys. Well, I only need one more key, but I'm going to lose all my lives at this rate. There's something else I can do. Maybe I just missed a key. Maybe I'm not going to get over that bit. We did that. We got that key. Green grassy land. No, you can only move on one plane. You can't move in and out onto the other bit. 
I don't think. I've only got one more life left to do this bit. How do I do this? You don't get enough time to do your double jump at that point. But you get to see the game over screen. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see if we can whiz through that again because what could possibly go for me wrong? to actually say this is a good game, I need to overcome that obstacle because if that is a stupid bit of platforming as it seems to be, uh, then that's not great design. Let's try again. This probably has to escape from that wall. We'll get that. Or oh, we won't get that yet. I said the controls are actually good. Um, the way Bubsy controls is nice. Uh, that's not a problem. But maybe the problem being is he can't launch into his jump from his pounce. No, he can't. So that's not going to work. Unless you bounce off something. So sorry to see if you're having to sit through the first level again. I'll try and do it quick. But we've, we've got to try and complete it, haven't we? At least do that for this uh, episode. Otherwise, I'm not proving that Bubsy's a good game, am I? I want to believe this isn't as deeply flawed as it seems to be. So what shirt does Bubsy look better in? The white shirt or the blue shirt? At least I've got 11. <laughs> well, I think the, the problem is that <laughs> Bubsy's got big balls. He's not been castrated, I don't think. Although he's so far away, I can't tell. But um, he's got to try some of those jumps he was doing. And yes, I think white shirt is classic Bubsy. The black shirt is helpful because it means you've got a force field, but it isn't classic Bubsy. Ah! Should I have done that, should I? There we go. I don't know what actually uh, killing the enemies does, apart from gets them out of your way. Doesn't give you any bonuses? Points, maybe? Yeah, it gives you points. What do points mean? Probably prizes. And a lot more to go. Oh, so it's watery bits. Points mean prizes. I think they do, don't they? Use that pounce move now. Well, a little. I win. I'm These bees are quite relentless, so do watch out for the bees. Ah, oh, no. Sometimes it's frustrating. I will say that. But the bees can get distracted by the flowers, which is quite helpful and quite natural for bees. No idea how I'm doing this, There's but I like it. Okay, so we need two more keys. Look, you've got to look after bees. Bees are important. You shouldn't kill bees. It's actually a bad message this game is sending. Bees are good. We want to keep the bees. Woolies, on the other hand, they're the bad guys. The one just got me then. Luckily, you don't you lose all your wool when you um, I just love 
um, lose a life. Oh no! Ooh. It's easy to make silly mistakes in this game, I found. So we're back to this old chestnut again. Okay. I feel like you should be able to make that jump with one pounce. You can. It's just harsh. And now I completed the level, but I didn't get all the keys. Do I need a glider ball around me? Well, I did it. I think when you hit the water, though, you're done. So, we got into the second level, which is a pun. I like puns. Cabin in the walls. <laughs> oh, that's funny. This is oh. I love this new ability. I think I would have preferred Bubbly to be able to go from a pounce into a glide. That would have been a nice uh, mechanic to have embraced in this game. Ah, oh, into the springs. It's all about timing with them. Oh, watch out for the bit of the bees too busy. He's the busy bee. Hang on. Oh, I'm trying to... Oh, extra life. Double jump's nice. My desire to jump on these woolies caused me to lose my shield then. We haven't talked about the music yet, have we? Uh, yeah, that's alright. Kind of fades into the background somewhat. That's alright, it's not obtrusive. Getting these balls of wall is probably quite important if you have to collect all those keys to get a load more. So, I'll make a conscious effort to get these balls. Bubsy oh. <laughs> likes pouncing. That's all good bobcat should. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we've got a load of woolies, meaning a load of points. Oh no. Okay. He's got nine lives, which is funny because he's a cat. Oh, that bee, that, oof, naughty bee, naughty bee. Ho oh. ho. One really down, and a lot more to go. Yay! Oh. Oh. Hey, you Rock it and go. Arr. It's a fun game. I'm enjoying myself here. I didn't like that last jump. That seemed like a little bit of a, a naughty way to end the level, that one. So I hope we don't find any other frustrating bits of platforming in this game. Oh. 
Oh. That was... That was a pain. Oh, yeah, they got me again. It's my own fault. Gotta just, uh... Do that. Oh. Time this, you see. You gotta be patient with some of these old school platformers. I guess everything's pretty simple, but it's fun. I like the mechanics. Wait, auto grabs hold of these walls as well, that's quite nice. Timing springs in these sort of games is always uh, a bit difficult. Same in Sonic though, and same in any platform, when you do that timing thing with the springs. I've never liked that. Oh, I couldn't see him. I feel like there aren't been many shields in this level. I'd liked a few of them. They're a little bit too zoomed out at this point. Does it need to be so zoomed out? I would argue. Maybe for that bit. It's a good example of me not being able to time that spring very well. But I need to do this to get the key. Yeah! Key? Key for Bubsy. Oh, yes! So then he is, uh, you guys grow up with Bubsy. Do you enjoy the first Bubsy game? Were you disappointed by the second Bubsy game like I was? It was maybe a little bit too ambitious for its own good. Matt Balls informed me that the Game Boy Bubsy 2 is not very good. That's another key. Be. You better behave. Oh! Get that. Oh, we've already got that checkpoint. It's down here. Ah, yes. A shield. So, I need one more key, please. And there it is. We're going to unleash the wall. Ho oh, ho! Eat that bee better, beehive! I've not done anything wrong. I just want me wool. Me big furry balls. Okay. Oh, look at that pouncing. Oh. I'm just happy to finish that level. Yeah! I'm the Bubsy Master! Somebody dial 911! You can't be serious! I like the tone of this game. It's fun. And it doesn't take itself too seriously. Good, simple, fun. And you know what? In this day and age, what's wrong with a bit of good, simple fun? Not Wait. Oh, yes, I am. This game is only uh, six pounds something at the minute on the uh, PlayStation Store. Yeah. Ooh, oh, that was unexpected. Oh. Which is, which is good, I think. I think that's good value. I wouldn't want to pay anything more for it. Uh, I only tend to buy things in sales. But I think that's a good price. I 
you can get your money's worth. I think it's quite a short game, from what I heard. But I don't mind short games either. It means I might stand a chance of uh, finishing them. Oh, I, 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 ah, that was, again, a stupid mistake, and I only have myself to blame. I think this would be great on the Switch. Get it on the Switch. Don't know why it's not on the Switch. It would be perfect for that platform. Is it on the Switch? Let me know if it is. I didn't think it was. I'd play this on a plane, train, or an automobile. There we go. A nice shield. Wait, wait. Am I, have I missed any keys? I hope not. Because I need all them woolly balls. Whoa. I don't like the burning one, so. I'm going to go down here. I think there'll be something good. No, there isn't. It's just. Well, the wool's not bad. But now we've got the tricky situation. Of getting out of there. Oh, we did it. Should we try and get over there? No. Well, maybe. Maybe there's something good over here. Not really. Be interested to see some of the other stages. I mean, you've only seen this uh, this type of reservoir stage so far. Uh, I assume the, some of the later levels must look different. Extra oh, yes, life. Nine lives again. I think Bubsy starts with nine lives, doesn't he? I think that's why you have so many lives at the beginning of the game. Oh, oh. Those bees are getting me. Oh wow, they were they weren't holding back, were they? And why should they? I suppose I'm on their patch. And they don't like outsiders. Oh the key! I want it, I want it, I want it. Oh no. Uh... So I don't know if how many of you remember, but Sparkster also was an older video game character who did come back on the last generation of consoles. You could argue that that game lacked a lot of the style that uh, he was, um, you know, best known for. I mean, the Sparkster games had a sort of atmosphere all their own, which wasn't quite captured in the, uh, the latest Sparkster game that came out. It was on the PS3 and the Xbox 360. It was still played pretty good though, and a lot of the same mechanics as the older games. Looks like I got that key, so I have to get it again. But it worries me I've only got two keys so far. So what other characters could come back? that era which were synonymous with uh, 2D platforming. Well, James Pond could also make a comeback. I'd be, I'd be down with that. We did get another Super Frog game, uh, which I think was a remake of the original Super Frog. But that one sort of went under the radar a little bit at the time. I just love platform games, so I'm quite happy with this uh, new Bubsy. this. 
can get to another stage. It doesn't look like this. There we go, four. Bubsy can glide pretty darn well. He's a lot like Knuckles in that respect. Bubsy, a new character for Smash Brothers? Why not? Just a little unfair. Okay, I'll let them get distracted by that flower. Oh wow, that that is hard. I've got one more life to get past these bees now. Okay, go to the flower, my bee friends. The flower, the flower. Yes. There's a flower. Okay, that's good, that's good. If I can find some sort of shield now, that would be great. So I don't have to go back to the beginning. Probably missed a load of. Uh... Oh, there you go. No, I've got all the keys. That's good. That's good. Must be near the end of the level. I'll do a pounce. And I'm just going to get the end of the stage now. Track point right before the end of the stage. No that's idea how uh, I'm doing this, but I like it. Oh yeah. Now I know it's you get level codes for beating levels. I hope you don't have to put those codes in to uh, resume your game. <laughs> okay, so this would seem to me like it's going to be a boss. That's great. Let's see what a boss is like. The glass dome of a UFO is its weak spot. I remember that. Next time I'm uh, fighting a UFO. Oh, I've got shield. Okay, so we've got to get above it somehow. Okay, it's one hit. That wasn't too hard. I mean, the, it's just similar to the first boss in the original Bubsy, which wasn't difficult. Oh, oh wow, okay, so I could have handled that just a little bit better. It would have... Whoa! It would appear that this has a lot of squiggy saucer boss. It's a nice way of putting it, my love. Oh! Oh dear! If you haven't guessed, uh, fire here uh, I know rather well. <laughs> oh! We've got plenty of lives to do this. So. Am I gliding? But we haven't got another shield, so that's not so. Um... <laughs> well, Claire, uh, I do wonder who that is. Okay, so we're, we're dealing with this. I mean, it's going to be difficult to do with the. Oh, did he recover his head? He didn't. Recover his health, did he? That's interesting. So we might just uh, be able to do this. Oh. Oh, 
Stomp, stomp her. So we're gonna get to see another level. Oh no, they've stolen me big woolly ball, the biggest of all woolly balls, and taken it to the next bit. This looks like a canyon stage. There's a, a joke on a popular film there. I wonder if a reservoir and a canyon are places that you might really find a real bobcat and that is why they were chosen to be stages in Bubsy. I did like the funfair level in the original Bubsy. I would like to see something like that in this game. You could argue the gameplay in here is rather repetitive, but saying that, I know it's fun. Depends what you expect from your games, really. This is interesting, Sand Sharks. This music is similar to the first level's music. It's possibly better, slightly. Oh, no. There are some unique um, obstacles in this level we didn't see in the first level. We got these uh, sand sharks. The oh, which just got me. Exuberant keyboard solos. I like that. like these um, shields. Maybe uh, the woolly ball like could be like rings in no Sonic. Idea. I always like that as a mechanic. As hey, long as you've got you some rings and you're, um, you're alright. This game doesn't really do anything particularly wrong, it's just quite fun. I think Bubsy does need some friends though, because he's really out on his own, isn't he? And, you know, he doesn't seem like he would be the most... Um, Oh no, do you think Bubsy's got many friends? Is a, is, is a question. Can you, can you pounce down? I don't know how to do that. Do you think Bubsy is a lonely bobcat? Should have a friend like uh, Tails. Who is the Tails to Bubsy Sonic? I feel if this game ever gets a sequel, which you know, why not? It's good. Uh, stick a little friend in for Bubsy. Maybe make a joke of it that his friend finds him annoying. How am I guiding? You have no idea. But really, Bubsy's a nice guy. <laughs> That's the uh, moral of the story. He just tries a little too hard. I feel like I'm writing a Bubsy fan fiction in my head now and I'm getting a bit worried. Okay. Watch out for the jetpack dude. Oh 
Oh, I feel I should have gone another way. Spiky balls aren't very friendly. I much prefer the woollier balls. Oh, there you go. I like oh, how I'm doing this, but I like it. Do, 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 do. I just love this little world in the way. He really likes wool more than any other cat I've ever known. Oops. Now that's just bad form. I've got a be careful here because I haven't got a lot of health. Well, I've only got one life, but so. oh that's not right for a cat. <laughs> you have, no have a few more. That's the end of the stage. Did it manage all the keys then? That's fine. Now, I think the only thing that could possibly let this game down now is that it is really short because so far I can only see three more stages including a boss. Uh, this thing has to scroll along. The there has to be you more. You no and I assume there is. I'd be very surprised there isn't. And I'd like the next stage to be something really far out. Could be space. Could be like a uh, theme park level, like in the original Bubsy. That would also be good. But maybe, maybe a level that isn't so uh, rural as uh, the, the ones so far have been. Wow, we got all those extra lives back just for doing that finishing the stage. I think if Bubsy and Alf would get along well. They seem to have similar demeanours. So when are we getting that Alf movie? I heard it was happening. Be a Bubsy movie this right before like the announcement. I like it. Huh. I feel like I'm getting to the swing of this game now. Not making as many uh, silly. Ah, <laughs> I say that. I'm not making many silly mistakes, I don't think, but maybe I am. Quite a lot of uh, freedom of movement. Right. Oh, oh watch out for that. Now how do I get down into the little areas though yet? Yeah. Maybe there's a move that I've totally forgotten about. Yeah, it's a gliding uh, bit there. Just warn you about uh, obstacles. Oh. 
So you get like combos the quicker you collect the uh, the balls. There are a lot of extra lives in this game. And there aren't a lot of different enemies, really, other than the, the woolies. We had the, the bees as well in the first level, and I got the sand sharks, but... I am enjoying myself playing this game. Not flying. Wait. Oh yes, I am. Although I have heard a lot of Bubsy's one-liners so far. Three keys. Four keys. Oh no. Okay, so I did get all the keys. No idea how I'm doing this, but I like it. One more key to get. Where is it? That is a question. Have I missed it? What will it do? And a lot more to go! Yay! How am I driving? I can have no idea. I just love this kind of world. Hmm. I feel like I want to find that uh, last key. Before I finish the stage. Is it down there? No. Is it down here? No. Bit of exploration, that's good. In a platform game. I am determined to find this key. Now. So I'm backtracking slightly. Oh dear. I'm backtracking slightly in order to find it. Oh, what counts for the sand sharks? I think I did miss like a huge section of this level. Oh, oh. Mean prizes. Oops. Nine lives. Hmm. Is it worth it? It's a question now. Is it worth it to get this last key? Oh. Do we even know if we can find this last key? No idea how I'm doing this, but I like it. Can we find the last key? Well, we can always collect more bully balls, even if we can't find the key. Really makes me hungry. Is it up there? <gasps> Please, Claire, tell me where the key is. Oh, before I lose all my nine lives. Oh, 
but that doesn't help me. I feel like I'm not going to find this key, because isn't that the beginning of the level? Not quite. Could I have missed it so early on? No idea how I'm doing this, what about I chickens? Like That's the wrong game. I wish there was a secret pipe I could descend into. No idea how I'm doing this, but I like it. But that, oh, what's that? Out, out, oh, it's just a shield. Okay, so. I think I've got to go back through the whole level oh, now. Yeah. Hope he doesn't time out at 10 minutes. At least uh, I can uh, get some more of the, the water. We've got to stumble across the key at some point, haven't we? Haven't we? Oh, it's not down there, is it? Because I can't get through there. I haven't worked it out yet. Oh! Foolish me. Again. Foolish. And a lot more to go. <laughs> Double pounce. That's not that checkpoint. Okay, over ten minutes now, that's good. Doesn't time out at ten. It's a relief. Oh I think we're just gonna have to try and finish this level, aren't we now? And then maybe call it a day on Bubsy. Oh wow, we got we got through. Just a clever bit of pouncing got us through that bit. But I'm afraid there is no key down here. lives to get through the rest of this level. I think we can do it. Not Wait. Oh, yes, I am. We have quite a lot of the arm balls. By no means all of them, but maybe we have enough. That is tricky, getting all those ones. Might just miss them out. Okay, still, we uh, haven't found the fifth key. I think this 
is the point where we went back on ourselves before, wasn't it? One more lead down, and a lot more to go! Yay! Unless... and he's only got one but left. Like okay. Well, I think we have to admit defeat. So there we are, coming up to the hour mark. the boss so I assume there's more to the game than just these uh, couple of levels but it's been uh, it's been fun I like Bubsy um, I forget what this is called it's something about well he strike back I think it is uh, you didn't see it but there's a little tutorial at the beginning as well that helps you uh, get to grip to the controls a woolly strike back so thanks very much for checking out this episode of Tom Plays and we'll be back uh, next week with another one. So all's left for me to say now is game on.